There's the boss again. <coughs> Just thought I'd show you as I'm having a relaxed day today. Buddy's under the car chilling out. But now I can show you that it's daytime. There's my beautiful car. It's exactly the same as the one I had in Cairns that the police stole. The Subaru Liberty uh, 2000 model. So you Cairns police, you're not getting that car because I'm where all the good police are, Byron Bay, where they let me stay here. Now, I'll just show you where I'm staying. This is a back of Woolies. You can see all the cars there. And we got bush over here. I'll show you over there in a minute. There's good little camp spots in there. But I've got myself my push bike. That's the pushy I showed you in the other video. Um, I've just got this like this so you know and then we'll keep it neat I just did some shopping so it's a bit of a mess so there's all the stuff in the car that I got and here's buddy he's under the car keeping it safe and protected um, we're just about to go down and get some uh, free food because in Byron there's uh, down at the community centre here they do all this fucking beautiful food I think it's twice a week or three times a week I don't know and then uh, in the morning they do breakfast at the uh, the other community, the drop-in centre type thing. But I mean it's orange juice, bacon and eggs every morning. And um, it's just brilliant. So look, we're just walking in it. Look, there's a hole here. Right. These are all around Byron, by the way. So I'm just going through this little track here. And... As you can see, there used to be a big ass camp set up in here. Someone was camping in here. And they had all the stuff in there. They had a tree house up there. You can see the tarp up in the tree. There's push bikes and all sorts of stuff here. But um, yeah, anyway, so last night in the other video that you just seen, where the cops pulled me up, um, that uh, security guard there, I was up in Woolies upstairs just charging my I was doing my kettle just boiling some water and this security guard he must be as bored as hell up here he's the only person I've ever had problems with in Byron and uh, no one else bothers me with the electricity power except for this weirdo but um, anyway so he called the police but the police know me down here and uh, all the police are good down here in Byron like I said they let me stay at the back of um, Woolworths here and even last night they said we don't want to have to move you along you know you're all right there so I just uh, basically just got told you know just don't use the power board while he's there you know so that was all cool so Byron Bay Police fucking thumbs up use everyone should take a leaf out of your book and uh, I think you got Jack Keogh Mr Sergeant Jack Keogh to thank for that because he's been the policeman that used to chase me around here in my V8 when I was younger. It was like Duke's a hazard all the time. Every time he'd see me, my V8 would take off and he'd give chase. And yeah, He never caught me, but um, yeah, so I'll go a long way back with old Jack Keogh here. He's a good cop, and I think he's made all the other cops good here too. So um, yeah, so that's where I'm staying, just in the car park at the back here. So I thought I'd just give everyone an update. I'm having a chill out day before I start my business uh, tomorrow and I'm hopefully my $5,000 ring will come down here today because I got that sent from Cairns um, from worldwide betting and stuff like that up there where I had it pawned and uh, yeah so it'd be nice to get that back and um, yeah so I'm just going to go down and get some free food but I thought I'd just do a quick update, quick post and um We'll let you know how the business is going in the next week or two. So I might leave posting for a bit. But, uh, uh, thanks for watching everyone. Keep watching. Things will get more interesting as they go along because I'm still writing that book, uh, No Trespass. And um, that's going to tell my story from Cairns to here. That's going to be a poorer to richer story. Obviously i only been here a couple of weeks. And I've got myself a car, it's all decked out, I've got clothes, I've got food, I've got money, I've got tools, I've got a push bike. And um, I've got everything I need. I've 
probably got too much stuff but um, yeah remember I just came down with a backpack and I've been here what a couple of weeks and uh, all this has happened so but that's not for me not making it happen because every day I'm out there making it happen because why because I'm the boss all right well the boss is going to get food um, and I'm going to have some lunch so I'll see you all later peace out from Byron Bay and um, I'll keep you updated with JJ's cut and polish and let you know how my business is going all right guys I'm out of here Whoop. Byron Bay